Oregon's weekly dose it administered showed a slight drop from earlier this month and this weekend. Coin6 confirmed 13 counties have asked the state to skip some vaccine deliveries this week due to lower demand. Nationally, a CBS News poll shows how many people are planning to be vaccinated. This is based on political affiliation. You can see nearly one in three Republicans don't plan to get vaccinated, while more than one in four independents feel the same way. Across the board, though, more than half of people in all categories say they will get a vaccine or already have. Much of this could be linked to the vaccine hesitancy after the pause on Johnson & Johnson doses. The Oregon Health Authority has cleared health providers to start giving Johnson & Johnson vaccinations again, despite reports that the CDC was investigating the death of an Oregon woman who developed a rare blood clot within two weeks of getting the vaccine. Coin 6's Jennifer Dowling is digging deeper tonight. She's joining us now live. So Jennifer, how is the state planning to fight that vaccine hesitancy we're starting to hear about? Well, Liz, the governor says that public messaging and education will be key to getting more shots in arms of Oregonians. There are people who are clearly vaccine hesitant, people who, you know, are skeptical of vaccines, worry about the safety of vaccines. As the Johnson & Johnson vaccine rolls back into distribution, national and local health officials are tackling vaccine hesitancy, which could be an issue in stopping the spread of COVID-19 in reluctant communities. The plan is very straightforward, and that's through educational efforts. Um, we know that these vaccines are safe trusted and effective. They are the key to reopening our economy and they are the best way you can prevent, pretend, excuse me, um, prevent uh, yourself uh, from ending up in the hospital. As Oregon healthcare providers and pharmacists start giving out the Johnson & Johnson vaccine again, the state is asking that they make sure to inform patients and caregivers about benefits and risks of the vaccine in their primary language. Whether it's overcoming hesitancy or just getting people to, to think about wanting to get vaccinated, uh, even if they don't have a particular reason not to, it's communicating in a wide array of channels, trying to get to people where they are, be able to find out why aren't people getting vaccinated and what do we need to do to provide better access. In Washington, health officials are concerned about those reluctant to get the shot as well. Clark County Public Health Director Dr. Alan Melnick spoke out about it Friday. We've had reported six cases of um, this clotting, um, rare clotting disorder after close to 7 million doses of vaccine have been administered. So while it's tragic, this is a pretty rare event, and we don't know if there's a causal relationship. And in Oregon, the Oregon Health Authority said that there are around 124,000 doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine that have been stored by health care providers as they were waiting for that federal and western states review on the safety of the vaccine to be completed. Back to you.